So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Alright, so let's get into part two where we're going to work with multiple lists. Let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is update our list initialization. So we'll go ahead and go to our init lists. So now we're going to change this to init lists, make it plural. And we're actually going to also update list to lists and then make this an array of list.models. So what we're going to do here is we're basically, I'm going to change this to a default list. And then what we are going to do is we're going to make m.lists equal to a list of list.models. And we're just going to do a default list, default list, default list. And then we'll go ahead and customize these later. Here, I need to also initialize it. There we go. And then here, basically what we can do is, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna put a comment here of like init the to-dos. Okay, so here what we can do is m.lists, and then now we're gonna use that enumerator. So we'll go ahead and do Endless to do, and this one is also going to be for the one at index to do. There we go. So we still got our to do list, and we can go ahead and create additional columns as well. So I'm actually just going to copy, actually, maybe I'll do a little space here so it's easier for me to grab with my editor. Go ahead and do that. I will copy that, paste it. Let's do a knit in progress. Okay. And then here we'll go ahead and change to in progress as the title. You can obviously make this whatever you want. And let's say that we've only got one thing to do. So let's stay, let's stay cool. And then as a cucumber, go ahead and save that. And then let's also init done. Perfect. Actually, let's make this the, the in progress. Let's say, uh, let's say let's write code here. And the description, let's go, don't worry. It's go. <laughs> All right, so now we've got our multiple lists being initialized. So we've updated that. I think now we should have a diagnostics. This is gonna get mad at us because now we have to initialize we change the name of it. And then here we have to say like, which one's focused. We, we can't just, it, it's obviously it's a list of lists now. So we're going to be sending all of our messages, all of our like key presses and stuff like that to whichever list is focused. So we'll go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, we also need to add a field for that. So we'll go ahead and do focus, let's do status. So it'll use the same values as we're using as for like our, our indexes. So basically all of the lists are being referred to in the same way. So basically what we can do here is we can just do m.lists and then whichever one is focused, it should be m.focused. And we will also do the same thing here, m.focused. Perfect, that will be less angry with us. And then here, we're gonna just quickly change our view to a lip gloss join horizontal and we'll say position let's just make it left i was just going to i was just default to like left and then we can change it later um but basically what we're going to do is we are going to do uh let's do m dot lists we'll start with our to do's and we will go from there m dot list to do m dot lists in progress might actually, I think I might quickly. And then we'll go ahead and do 
mdollis done. And what we have to do is do their, their view. We're gonna call their view to get their string representation of what that model looks like. Perfect, and then we don't really have anything else. And so we can go ahead and see what that looks like. I don't think, I think right now they're actually gonna overlap. So let me update their width for the default. So let's go ahead, let's create a constant that will be like a divisor. And we'll just make that, we'll try with it at four. So basically we're gonna like, use up, um, divide the, the total width of our viewport. So let's just uh, divide by divisor. There we go. So that's just when I'm initializing the default list so they'll all have the same sizing and everything like that. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Oh, we are getting an error. Let's see what line that's at. Uh, 96. What have I done here? I didn't even read the error. Mm -mm -mm. Index out of range with length zero. Oh, I think, I think I'm trying to, I think it's trying to render before I've actually initialized the list. So let's go ahead and fix that. So to fix that, let's go ahead and get a loaded. We're gonna make that a Boolean. And basically what this is gonna do is it means that we're gonna wait before we display anything to make sure that the lists have initialized, that we've gotten all of the proper dimensions back and all of that stuff. So for now, let's just let's just add it here and then see what happens. So, so we'll say um, if not m.loaded or I guess we'll just do, don't need to do a not there. We'll just do uh, if m.loaded, then we'll return what we we're planning on returning. And then else we'll return loading. Oops, uh, return. Okay, and then let's go back to our model. Uh, oh, where did I add loaded? Oh, ha, I added that to the wrong one. It's supposed to be your model that has that, not your item. There we go. So now it will be less angry. I don't think we have, we don't have any issues now. Go ahead and see what that looks like. So. The problem is now is that we're actually never we're never updating the state of M loaded. So I think what we are going to do is we'll go ahead and update it when we receive our first the window size message, which is basically like what runs on startup. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's do that for our update. So here we'll say, so if not M dot loaded, So if not m.loaded, when we receive this message, we will set m.loaded to true and then re-render. And here we can do init lists. We'll go ahead and do that before it loads so that it's not like reinitializing all of that stuff. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and run that and see what it looks like. So loading. Perfect. Okay, so sizing is a little weird. The help menu is still there. It looks a little funny right now. 
looks a little funny. I think we can make this better. And we also can only, we can only interact with the first to do. It's done, it's only showing the done one. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and fix all of that. So we'll go into our main.go. To do, of course, it's only showing that I did not update. Did not update the indices. We love that. All right, there we go. That will at least give us something a little bit better, hopefully. There we go. So now you can see, we can see all of our lists. We can only interact with the to dos. We can filter still. But again, all of our key presses are only going to our to-dos. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some, let's clean it up a little bit. Let's make it look a little bit nicer. And then we'll add the functionality for us to be able to like switch between the different views and all of that good stuff. So let's work on some of the styling. So of course we need to get the sizing down. Let's make it so that our default lists are not showing the help menu. All right, so what we need to do here is let's do set show help and let's make that false. There we go. So that should fix it. Okay, so a little bit better. Uh, now we don't have the help menu in there. All right, so let's go ahead and add some styling.